MD Marathe. I am a technologist. Before I start, I would just like to explain that I would like to take the audience from the sentimental plane to a more scientific and rational plane. I hope I have a permission to that. Today's school books present the following information. In the course of evolution, the animal man or Homo erectus evolved 2 million years ago with a brain size of 1000 cc against a size of 400 cc of the apes. Evolution continued with the brain growing to 1400 cc 200,000 years ago and this animal was known as Homo sapien. The present form of man was evolved about 35,000 years ago and is known as Homo sapien sapien. Anthropologists have estimated that man developed a speech center in his brain 50,000 years ago. Now the question is, in this record of development, when did God originate and for what purpose? So brother, first he gave, according to him, the theory of evolution of man and said, where does God fit in? Brother, I'd like to tell you that what you quoted about the Homo sapiens, etc. You are talking about the theory of evolution, brother. Theory of evolution. I'm a medical doctor. I have not come across a single book in my life which says fact of evolution. It is theory of evolution. And even I know about the theory of evolution and about the Darwin's theory. Complete answer referred to my video cassette, Quran and Modern Science Conflict of Conciliation. What Darwin said was only a theory. He wrote a letter to his friend Thomas Thompson in 1881 that I believe in this theory of natural selection because I don't have any proof. Only because it helps me in natural selection, it helps me in embryology, in classification, in rudimentary organs. There's no book saying the fact of evolution. All the books say theory of evolution. That's why if we have to say to a friend that if you are present at Darwin's time, Darwin's theory have been proved right, trying to insinuate to look like an ape. They were missing links. Darwin himself said the missing links. You spoke about the homo you only spoke about one wave. I'll tell you about all the four waves. The first wave was Lucy. Lucy. Lucy was first wave which came three and a half million years. You talk about two million years, I'm telling you what scientists have said three million years ago. Lucy. It died out by the Ice Age. The second came the Homo erectus. Homo erectus. About 500,000 years. After that came the Neanderthal man the third wave, about 40,000 years ago. And the last was the cro -Magnon. But brother, there's no link between all these stages. It's only a hypothesis. According to P.P. Grasse, according to P.P. Grasse, who held the chair of evolutionary studies in Paris, in Shoujo University, in 1971, he said, it is letting our imagination run too wild, just based on vestiges to say who our ancestors were. I do know there are some people who speak about Darwin's theory. I'm a medical doctor, I know about that. But do you know there are hundreds of scientists who speak against it? The few scientists, <laughs> few scientists speak in favor, but there are more who speak against it. For the complete answer, refer to my video called Quran Modern Science. There are few scientists because there's no fact of evolution. They say, let's support a theory. Quran doesn't support any theory or hypothesis. Quran speaks about fact. So regarding your two million years, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, no beginning. When man came, no one knows the exact date. No one knows. Assumption, assumption. Assumption is there. But Quran says the first man was Adam alayhi salam. First man. And with it came Eve. May Allah be pleased with her. Man hasn't reached that stage. There's not a single statement in the Holy Quran which science has proved wrong yet. Hypotheses go against the Quran. Theories go against the Quran. There's not a single scientific fact which is mentioned in the Holy Quran which goes against established science. It may go against theory. So brother, your thing is only supported by few people, not by the majority.